What would it take to have a pet bear? I've had a few people ask me that and I'll tell you, but first off, I don't condone this. This is for educational purposes only. This is the man in Florida who professionally trains bears and he has 13 grizzly bears that he keeps as pets. Have you ever been bitten by a cat or a dog? Now imagine that that animal can crush a bowling ball with ease. The first thing you would need to do is figure out how to acquire a bear. And they certainly can be purchased from roadside attractions or some particularly unscrupulous breeders. They cost around $3,000. Make sure you're in a state where it's legal. I was surprised to see Delaware on that list. You can see it's illegal in the blue, in the yellow, a permit is required, and in the green, you can just have one. Next up, you're going to have to have a sufficient container for said bear. In the wild, things like black bears can travel 15 to 200 miles just in their territory alone. Black bears live in shared territory and they're not terribly territorial. However you design this, they're going to need space to roam so that they don't get overweight. Black bears can run from 90 pounds to 900 pounds when they're fairly obese. If you have a smaller enclosure, chances are they may get fat. Also be aware that they need to hibernate, so you're going to have to have a safe cave-like area where the bear can chill in the winter. I've read that most bears, either grizzly or black bears, are going to need around $200 to $500 worth of food a month. They are voracious eaters, especially before hibernation, and like all bears, they're omnivores which means you need to feed them both meat and vegetables in order to be healthy. Don't forget veterinary care because you're going to have to find a veterinarian that's fluent in working with bears. Now, I am not going to get a bear, but if I ever had one, I would want a spectacled bear. On the smaller side, they can be about 140 pounds and four feet tall. And as for the sun bears, these guys can be around 120 to 150 pounds, four feet tall, and they look like you told someone about a bear and they tried to draw it, but they had never actually seen one. Oh, sun bears. And one more, for good measure. But I will say that I thoroughly believe that bears belong in the wild and in their mother's arms, and the only time they should be cared for by humans is when they need rehabilitation. Unfortunately, mother bears adopt orphan cubs all the time, so it's easy to place them. If you want a domestic animal that looks like a bear, I would suggest a Russian bear dog or perhaps a chow.